Spring is in the air. <laughs> Uh, now people are going to see the same outfit as in the other video and be like, do these people own no other clothes? Yes, we don't own any other clothes. Spring is in the air. Um, one of the things I noticed um, during... while well, Toby was on his trip. Link up here. Or up there, depending how this turns out. The one thing I noticed is that the cat started behaving really, really weird. And we realized that it happens every spring. And so I did a little bit of research and found out that there is such a thing as spring fever in cats. All right, the first thing you will notice when spring comes and the temperatures get warmer is that your cat is going to start shedding. Like crazy. The Especially if you have a long-haired cat. Yeah. And they leave fluff seeds everywhere. We call Ryu the fluff tree and he drops fluff seeds everywhere. Um, but they're all shedding at the moment, some more than others, and it's a nightmare. I have to vacuum every day. It's basically them losing their winter coat and their Just summer coming in. Yeah. Everybody is getting brushed. Ryu is getting brushed even more, and he hates us, but that's fine, because otherwise he's gonna get matted um, fur clumps, and that's not nice for any of us. Another one has joined. Lily! Number two, erratic behavior. I think we can call it. With spring, the natural way things work in the wild, and obviously all of our pets are sterilized, so they don't actually have the hormones, but because it's kind of ingrained in the genetics and so on, um, most cats will get a little frisky. Grr. And therefore, there's kind of a shift in, in behavior. And I've noticed that a lot because basically none of our cats are getting along at the moment. They're like fine one minute and then the next they're not and they're just like hissy and grumpy with each other. Yeah, Momo was, is probably the worst of them all. He isn't really bullying anyone, but he is he is more active and he's desperately like trying to chase and play everything and anyone, whether they want to or not. But I've also noticed it now in, in the girls where they'll just, you know, be a lot less tolerant and a lot less laid back. And it has started slowing down already, so I think it was just like the first two weeks when it started warming up outside quite a bit. So if your cats in spring suddenly have like moments where they don't get along, completely normal, and it will generally pass as like spring kicks in properly and they just get over that transition phase. Number three, early mornings and late nights. Action time. <laughs> Since the temperatures are going up and cats are naturally, and I think that applies to most wild and big cats as well, they're actually, what is the word, darling? Diurnal, I think. It's diurnal. I oh, know, they're most active during dawn and dusk. Yes, yeah. that is exactly what I mean. So Momo, during winter, happy to have breakfast around half past seven. Usually starts acting up around seven o'clock um, at the moment an hour earlier. So from like, I would say 6, 6.30, he's a nightmare. He will start screaming and clawing at my face to get me to get up and bug all of the other cats because he's hangry. And the same applies in the evening. Um, Alice, who's our eldest, is now generally out and about when the sun goes down because obviously all of the insects are now out as well and uh, lizards and so on, so everybody while well, everything is livening up a little Generally, bit. Generally everything is also active much earlier yes. and awake till much later. The sun goes down a bit later, it comes up a bit earlier. We had bats for the first time the other day um, that obviously aren't as active in, in winter. The cats have never brought us a bat. I think they're Thank just too goodness. quick. Everything is out and about, there's lots more birds and therefore the cats will get up earlier and stay out longer. And that's something you will also see with cats who have spring fever. And then number four, sunbathing. Now that the sun is out and the sun is warm, I mean our cats sunbathe pretty much all year round. Well, not in summer, height of summer, but in winter as well, because obviously we do have a lot of sun in, win in winter in South Africa. But I feel like in more seasonal, seasonal, seasonal? In countries that have more distinct seasons, you will see that your cat is kind of like finding the pockets of sun and start following it around the house. And that's like a spring thing because the sun isn't too hot yet, but it's really nice and warm and cats love it warm. And so we've been seeing that a lot as well. Kebby basically all day spends her day in our roses because that gets a lot of sun. She's there right now. And I also see it, I usually leave our front door open and the sun will at some point reach the couch 
and you'll be able to see one cat on the couch, one cat on the ottoman and one cat on the floor in that like beam of light. <laughs> And so yeah, they'll basically just keep warm and enjoy the sun, roll around in the sun because it makes them happy. And yeah. Number five, shorter naps. Um, so that comes in the same realm as getting up earlier and going to bed later. But I think it's also they, they do quicker like nap activity, nap activity, yeah. nap activity. Whereas in winter it's nap. A little activity, bit of activity nap. maybe. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, Cats are a lot less active in, in winter, I think most pets are, um, because it's colder and you know you have to um, also restrict energy and so on because they tend to, in the wild, eat less because it's less readily available. So obviously that doesn't apply to our house kitties here, but I have still noticed that they do tend to spend more time outside and... Yeah, and they're much more happy to come outside yeah. while we're outside now as well. So yeah, the naps are a lot shorter. I don't see them as often anymore. They don't necessarily come to sleep inside. They'll tend to even take their naps out in the garden. Let us know if your cats have come down with spring fever. I suppose some of you watching it, it's gonna be autumn fever and you're gonna have the opposite, but yeah. If you've noticed that your cat acts differently at a certain time of the year, let us know. We'd love to hear your stories. Yeah, like I said, it was something really weird. I was just like, I noticed it and I Googled around and I was like, huh, this is an actual thing. Like there's so much online about it because evidently we're not the only ones who have naughty little kittens around this time of the year. Like this one who went for a swim the other day. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.